So, we're going to LA. How are you guys doing? I'm doing okay. I made a video the other day about my relationship with money and I kind of just wanted to share how I feel about money, the truth of it all, and then just show you the reality of LA, which can be very glamorous and materialistic. So we're gonna go there. If you guys are wondering, Tava's filming. Say what's up, Tava? Hey, how's it going, guys? We had a one and a half hour car ride of me needing to go to a bathroom, basically. How was that? I think it was excellent. It was excellent. You know, bladder's clear, everything's Bladder's good. clear, mine's Jade's, clear. Jade's happy now. Yeah. She, she was complaining. This is I was saying I'm, weird I'm joking, shit. I'm no, I was saying some weird shit though. Yeah, <laughs> I am going to LA for a meeting. We're meeting them at their office. It's just the founder and then the partners. But I also, they're my friend's company. So I haven't seen their new office and they wanted to show me that. So that's really fun. And then we're going to hang out in LA. I used to funny enough live in LA and it was very expensive. So I'm, I moved out to another more expensive place basically <laughs> called San Luis Obispo, which is a coastal city that's really expensive. Isn't slow really expensive sometimes? It's super expensive, but what do we call it? Like paradise tax? Really? Yes. Yeah. Like. Okay, LA is expensive for no good reason. Like, you know how like you can spend a bit more money if you enjoy your life, you're next to the beach, and you're like, cool. Like, in LA, rent is like so high for basically no reason. Yeah. Like, there's like slow you can Well, just I buy mean, it. That, that's just California in general, but yes. LA, but, but LA you don't get a lot for what you're paying. Yes, for. basically. So that's why I moved out for those who are wondering. Right now, we're in Santa Barbara. It's gonna be another an hour and a half drive, but we got two meetings, 12 p.m. Meeting with talent manager, scary meeting. I don't know what to do. A 1 p.m. meeting with my friend's brand agency named Walid and Gianna. We're gonna meet with them to talk about some brand partnerships for some clients I'm working with, because I manage some influencers right now. Those are the two meetings I have. A little nervous for the first one because sometimes you work with people that are mean. I'm just gonna say that. It's been hard for me, honestly, because I put a lot of doubt on myself because the reason why I feel like people are mean to me is like, oh, because I'm not making enough money, which is so weird. Like, you should never feel like the reason why someone's mistreating you is because you're the problem. That's where my mind goes. Tava actually has a really good relationship with money, I feel like. Do you wanna talk about it? <laughs> I have a really good relationship with I feel like you do, like I... you're not very, like you're stoic about it. I mean, I'm not where I would like to be, but I think that people put too much focus or emphasis on you know, making X amount of money. And I think that like, in the end, does that really make you happy? And so, I don't know, I feel like money, you can always get money, but you can never get time. So I value time more than money. That is facts. Above anything else. I'm reading this book called The Art of Money. What? Art I'm reading this book called The Money of Art. The Art of Money? Fuck, I don't know. It's gonna bother me. This book, okay, is saying, what is your money story? And I made a whole video about this before, but I'm slowly realizing my money story is I, associate money with hard work and if money is not super hard to get it's not worthy i don't know if anybody feels this way i literally think I'm the, I'm the only one on this i don't know if anyone feels this way but if money's too easy for me i find a reason to make it hard for myself which is why oh i just literally poked my eye did you see that for a lot of people watching me, they're like, Jade, why didn't you launch a course to like later in your like YouTube career? It's because I literally thought it was there's something wrong with me. And when I was getting views on my YouTube channel, I thought there was something wrong with it. I was like, why is it so easy to get views? So then I like self-sabotage my own channel because I feel like I don't deserve it. And I'm just realizing it like today. Everything's in progress, so I, I know, mean, as I know. long as you're better than you are before or the day before. I just don't understand how people make money, but by scamming people. For me, the ethics there, like, I could not do it. I don't understand. You know, ethics is, is a big thing as well as your character. Like, And this doesn't just apply to money, it applies to everything. What's your why, right? And if you're staying true to your why, everything else will play out the way that it needs to be. But as soon as you start to like, change your why or change your character just to make a buck and like screw people over like that shows in your work and that shows in who you are and people are going to want to work with you i found that for me i'm finding myself have to work with people that are like that and you can tell by their character the meeting i have at 12 i feel like is someone who really does value money over character and value and you i can see it and then we're having this disagreement and i'm stressing out about it because the immediate thing i think about is my fault it's my fault it's my fault don't know why i want to fucking fix that but that's the truth in it. So I don't know. I really did want to make this video to show like my honest thoughts around making money because for me, I feel immense guilt. And now I'm starting to realize why. It's not because money is bad. It's because I associate money with hard work. Don't know why. Don't let the fuck. I need a therapist. I do actually. So yeah, anyways, we're going to go to LA. Hopefully we'll do some more fun stuff like thrift maybe. Yeah, yeah. Make some, find some good teas. Some good teas. But anyways, uh, I'll see you guys when we're closer. It's, we're an hour and a half away. 
we are here at the Industrious office. It's a co-working place. My friend got an office here. We're gonna check it out. I haven't been to my like an office in like when was the last time you went to? Well, you work in a studio. I'm I in have, an office every day. <laughs> okay, you're in an office every day. I haven't been to an office in so long. So they invited us to our space. I'm really excited. And we're gonna meet my friend Gianna and Walid with their new influencer management company. Let's go do it. <laughs> I have. I just sat there for two hours. Yeah, we made it. We made it. Whee! How are your legs, Tava? How are your legs? Kind of wobbly. Going down. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hey dude, how's it going? How are you? Professional. <laughs> There's like stuff in the fridge too. Oh my god! That's the water thing. Here's the wellness room. You need to meditate. What? No, no they're barely good people. And then we just have the temporary room. Because I have an office in Dallas. Sick, bro. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So this is where you guys are working? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to take my meeting and then I'll be back here. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah. get us here. Business Jade. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but when I'm in the call, I'll be like. Like, I'll actually make a whole video out if you guys are curious on like how I sound professional meetings when I'm freaking out. I know a lot of you guys are doing job interviews and I can give some tips, but to be honest guys, I'm always freaking out. There's not one day that I'm not freaking out. Where, I mean, honestly, out? you know. Out of 10? Probably right now out of, no, five. Five? Damn, but, chill. you know, we're. Chill day right now. Ch sure, right. <laughs> tips for a good meeting. Drink water, okay? Take a deep breath. And make sure that your camera is centered. Sometimes it's too high, too low. But kind of... Hey guys, sorry for delaying the meeting. So those are like the main two deadlines that I wanted to clear up and maybe we can all have a discussion. What's up guys? We have Gianna and Teva. What are you guys chatting about? Really? Okay, are you guys getting along? Don't fight Teva. No, we were fighting it. You were fighting? Teva! Okay, that's good. Are you the new like co-founder of the company now? Mm -hmm. yeah. Got it. Guess what? The meeting went. Should I? Oh my god! I thought I was there for a second. <laughs> the meeting went so well. Here you go. Thank you. Open it. Okay. Let's Hope see. it fits your fingers. Oh my goodness! Is this the croissant one? Yeah, I got two for you. These are so cute here, Froggy. Right? What? I want to show it with the camera. Aww. What a beauty YouTuber. Yay, do you like See? it? Yeah, these are so Wait, cute. Wait, do they try it on? Do they fit? Are they big? That one's yeah, for your thumb. Fit. I could just do this. But this is for thumb. Yeah, that's the yeah, see? So oh my god. Boss, I uh, just want to update the client project. So right now we have Chipotle on deck, then we have Netflix on the deal, and then we want to sign the contract for our lawyers for um, for Netflix. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good? Okay. Is it a rain deal? Yeah. 10K minimum? <laughs> minimum, 25. 25. All right, closed. <laughs> And, she, and, she, and that's how brand deals work! <laughs> I guess I'm here because, well, Jeremy told me you guys are working on like an agency called Breadwinners. Are you a breadwinner? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I was the Keep OG talking. breadwinner. Oh, that's true. I've been watching you for years. Mm -hmm. I how to grow bread. your Instagram. It I forget yes, what it was. Yes, that's the one. Up. How to that's get a million followers. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> <laughs> it's like I know you guys manage influencers, right? Mm -hmm. But tell me, what, what is the main line of work you guys do? Well, we have two sides. I like to work with startups and like, grow them so i'm focused more on that end and then she's focused on like the talent management side what is the brands right now is it like in la or in dallas the brands mm -hmm. they're all over all we're over. global just kidding this <laughs> <laughs> i wanted to under i wanted just to understand what you guys are up to um <coughs> that out actually look at that relatable <laughs> Thank you. Wait to crash. Do you have good insurance on this train? <laughs> yeah, good insurance. Okay, let's go. Having skills this entire way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even know how to turn on the car. <laughs> so we just finished our two meetings for today. I feel pretty good, and we're gonna get some sushi. So I'm enthusiastic. Woo! Sushi. We're here.
here at Crazy Rocket Sushi. You guys, what's your like honest thoughts at this place? I'm cool with whatever, but you're hyping it up a lot, so it has to be really be good. good, like top notch quality. Up to I'm soon, skeptical. Right? <laughs> I'm very skeptical. Okay, I don't trust Jane. Listen, it has. We four? we're all gonna do a little taste test here, and then like. Okay. Yeah, you know, and then we'll see. Rating out of ten, if it doesn't ex you know, exceed your expectations. Let me explain. Yeah. Where in LA do you find five dollar rolls? Where in LA? Name a sushi place. Okay. Thank you. So you have to keep in mind price, vibe, location, vibe. Come on, it's worth the consequences. Now, in terms of the fish, I mean, no, I'm joking. It's good. <laughs> if I get a stomach ache from this chain, No, you... we're gonna eat food. I'll show you guys later if it's actually good. How's the food, guys? It's it good. Yeah. Jade Wait, picked well. Tell me. She's not even. How's the chicken? The chicken is good. I'll give you that. But the main test is the sushi. Try it. Try the sushi. Okay. Yeah. I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Turn. Dip it in the eel sauce. Yeah. It works. It works. It's good. How is she? Not bad. We just finished lunch. Hey, how was lunch? Pretty good, right? It was so good. good. I got a box. Carrying the we're gonna go back home. He has a meeting at 4 30. It's literally 4.24. And the place is 10 minutes away. <laughs> it's actually 15 with traffic. I'm not usually like this. I'm usually on time and professional. Have you seen my office? <laughs> okay, it justifies it. You just open up the oops and sorry I'm late, but he sees the office. Like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Change your car. Oh no. Hello. Oh no pop no pictures. <laughs> Stop doing that! I can't believe you. Hate them. So boring. <laughs> Joking. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.